What's up, everybody? It's Dr. J, and yes, today we are talking about the periodic table. Periodic table. So the periodic table can give you a lot of information. It's going to give you information about the elements, which we're about to go over here, but it's also going to give you uh, information as far as how those elements are related to each other, okay? So we can see a relationship between certain elements. Now, the periodic table was discovered by this guy named Mendeleev. Um, and he basically came up with a lot of the different elements. He actually discovered, I think, around 65 other elements on the periodic table. So he found a lot of the elements. And the way that he found it, right, is because he pr proposed a law, okay? So Mendeleev proposed this law, the periodic law, okay? So basically, with the periodic law, he was saying that when the elements are arranged in an order of increasing mass, okay? So he said that elements are ordered in increasing mass. So mass is increasing. Certain sets of properties are going to recur periodically, okay? So we're going to see certain properties happen over time, over time. So let's just look at the periodic uh, table with the elements placed out, right? So we know, right, that each element will have a different amount of protons, etc. Okay, so we learned that in the previous video. Check out the previous video if you want to learn more about that. Okay, now let's start off with hydrogen, right? We understand hydrogen has that one proton. This is the reason why it's going to be listed first. Helium has two protons. It's listed second. Lithium has three protons. This is third, beryllium has four, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, etc. Okay, so the elements, right, are increasing. So they're increasing in mass, right? We need to understand that they're increasing in mass. So what we will see, right, for instance, with this periodic law, is that it says as we set these elements in this increasing order of mass, certain properties are going to start reoccurring over and over again. So let's say we go from hydrogen, helium, and then let's look at lithium, right? So lithium's in blue. So if we go next to beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, right, fluorine, neon, and then we're going to hit sodium, okay? So sodium right here at 11 right? We're going to see, well, he saw a certain thing. He saw that those properties that lithium had, sodium had similar properties, okay? Very similar properties to where, um, you know, you could probably say that they were like family in a way, right? Because of how similar they were. So, he kept looking going forward, right? We, we go down the elements, and next thing you know, right, we get to potassium at 19. And what we see here is that those properties for potassium are very similar to sodium, and sodium was very similar to lithium, okay? So we're seeing some properties very similar occur over and over again, depending on, right, its location. And this is how we have to look at that periodic law. As we increase the mass, we're going to see certain properties occur over and over again. Even if we look at beryllium. Beryllium was next after lithium, right? But what do we notice about magnesium, which is directly by sodium? They're both purple. So in this case, it's, it's color-coordinated. But they have similar properties, right? And with these similar properties... This is going to impact how we arrange them on our periodic table.